Okay, if you have an issue where you have 4K TV and you just recently got your PlayStation 4, you have it on, but nothing comes on. But you hear sounds from it. So you can hear the sound coming out of the PS4, but there's no display. And this has to do with the HDCP compatibility between the Sony PS4 Pro and again it's a PS4 Pro and your your uh, and your 4K TV so we need to to fix that we need to do what's called booting the PS4 into safe mode you change the HDCP compatibility to the older version and then your TV uh, should work so let's try that. We're going to first off the PS4 Pro. Again, this is the PS4 Pro. Now I know that my, obviously I know that my TV works fine. I know that my HDMI cable is fine because I've used it with my PC and also my cable box. And I know that my PS4 that I bought brand new is fine because I hooked it up to a 1080p TV and, and it boots up fine. It's only with 4K that it fails to to show on the screen. I think I shut this off. Okay, now it's off. Now we're going to boot into safe mode. And the way to do that is you press and hold the power button until it beeps. Um, so it's going to light up until you hear the beep and after you hear the beep you let go. I believe it's a single beep. So it's so I believe it's one beep. Not the one that's the one you first turn it on. Okay, there, there was a second beep. Okay, and now you see it on the screen. It says, I apologize for this thing being out of focus. It says connect the DualShock controller via USB, which it is. And I'm going to hit the, I'm hit the uh, PS4, the, the PlayStation button right here. And once I do that, You'll see here it says it's in safe mode. I hope you guys can can read that and apologize if my DLSR is not going to focus because I've shut off automatic focusing. Anyway, the last option here at number eight that's the set HDCP mode. So I want to go into into that. So bear with me. And, and hit X for accepting it. And the top option says automatic. Um, okay, it's too bright to see. But the top, the first option, is it says automatic. Um, can't make out the letters in black. Okay, now I'm going to scroll down to number two and select HTCP 1.4 only. So let me undo that and hit X. Okay, it says uh, the PS4 will restart, will restart and HTCP 1.4 will be used. Right over, click on X or OK. And now it's going to restart. Hopefully, this should work. Now you will have to do this if you upgrade. If you upgrade the firmware, you'll have to do it. So keep that in mind, that a firmware upgrade. See, now you see the PlayStation logo. Let me just reduce the ISO, so it's still bright. So now you see the PlayStation logo. And uh, it'll load up. Okay, press the PS button on the control. There's one. Are you just kidding me? Alright. There you go. That's how you get it working. So you need to step down to HTCP 1.4 again. And I don't know whether it has to do with uh, the TV supports 2.0 but 
you somehow have to force it to 1.4. I don't think the, I don't think the automatic works. Or if the automatic maybe for it goes up to 2.0, uh, and and the 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 um, play PS4 Pro is not able to control it. And this is a new model TV. It's a 2016 model TV. So I believe I don't know. I'm gonna put, go to some forums and find out. Is it the TV that needs to be fixed, or is it the PS4? I did update all the firmware on my TV, and I also updated the firmware on the PS4, so I'm really not sure which device is causing the problem. I don't have this issue with any of the other devices that do 4K, like an Android box um, or streaming. I guess streaming you know, is different from an input. Um, my PC was 1080 and my cable box is 1080, so they don't count. So the, my PS4 Pro is my first 4K externally connected device and um, you just have to force it to get it to work. So hopeful, I hope this is helpful. If so, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. Thanks for watching.